is it the best you can do after listening to so much about mindfulness? Please all stand up. Let's all stand up. Yeah? <laughs> Let's do this well, right? Because this one word kind of packs in everything. So namaste. namaste. Thank you so much. Please sit down. Right? <laughs> okay. So my name is Jeronino Almeida. That was also my grandfather's name. And it was given to me by my parents. Don't try pronouncing it because even my parents can't pronounce it, right? Yeah. So I basically am from a place called Goa, right? Uh, I always joke that that's where God likes to go for a holiday, though. He lives in Kerala, right? And uh, I was born in a so-called Roman Catholic family. I don't believe in any religion anymore, yeah? And I didn't grow up using this word called Namaste. A lot of people think Namaste is an Indian word. I can promise you it's not an Indian word. Because there was no concept called India at the time when Namaste originated as a word with a very deep meaning. A lot of people also think it's a Hindu word. There was no concept called Hindu also. right? It comes from a different time and space when people believe that humanity is the only religion. And we must respect each and every human being and the nature that we live in, failing which we're not respecting any God. Right? How many of you have grown up using the word Namaste? Very nice. Brilliant. So all of you would know the meaning of the word Namaste. Yes or no? Right? So can you tell me what is the meaning of the word Namaste? <laughs> now that you raised your hands, you're trapped. <laughs> yes, sir. I bow to you. That's the gesture. Right? A lot of people bow to you when you enter a five-star hotel. I promise you they don't know the meaning. If you stop and ask them, what do you know the meaning there? No one's explained that to them. So they think it's just another greeting or it's just another gesture. But I promise you it's much more. I bow to divine All right. Okay. We're coming close, but it's much more. It's much more deeper. And all of you have grown up using the word. Wow. Respect. You learn respect. That's something you learn, very nice. You learn how to give respect, because if you don't give respect, you can't get respect. Respect is mutual. So that's a value or a principle that you learn. What else do you learn before we go into the meaning, since you opened up the floor? What do you learn from Nama? Humility. You learn humility. Have you ever met humble people in your life? I get very scared when I meet humble people. You know, I always joke with them, I thought you were a human being. Because human beings by design cannot be humble. We can only practice humility, right? But people don't know how to practice humility. They are humble. It's like very superficial. You'll see them very humble in the temple or the church or the ashram in front of the Guruji. The halo comes out like, you know, like they're angels. The gossamer wings start growing. Any more time with the Guruji and I promise you they could fly like angels. But the moment they're coming out of the ashram and getting into the car, they're abusing their driver. They're speaking rudely to him. Hey, what happened to humility? Humility means equal respect for one and all, be it the Guruji, be it the Prime Minister, be it the janitor, be it the security guard, be it the waiter. If you don't know how to do that, it's not humility. It's related to mindfulness. We're not mindful about being humble with people who are below us. Right? The dictionary has another word for it. It's called psychophancy. <laughs> it's not humility. Right? But it does, Namaste does teach you that because you have to practice it every day. How many of us say Namaste in our day-to-day -day life at office or at work? You do? Very nice. Nice to see some hands going up. A lot of people don't find it so cool. What's up, bro? Hey, dude. It's cooler. No, that's so uncool. It's like watching a Hindi movie. So uncool. You getting what I'm saying? We've got so intoxicated over the years that we've forgotten that this place, which is now called India, gave the world mindfulness. Not the Europeans, not the Americans, not the Greeks, not the Romans. This place, which is now called India. But we've forgotten our original wisdom. And it shows in the room, right? We don't know the meaning. 